Hey guys, this is my friend Oreo. He's my dog. I love him very much. Yep. So you may hear him because uh, he has to be uh, like put on a leash today, just so that he doesn't run around the house. Cause they got some workers helping renovate. So yeah, he may be barking or I don't know, whimpering or stuff like that. So if you hear him, just know that this is my it's my friend and buddy and brother Oreo. So yeah. Bye buddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see y'all in the video. Yo, what is up guys? It is Daniel back with another video, and this one's gonna be a little bit different if you haven't already figured that out. We are going to be looking at Saman Savage's video. Hopefully I'm on it. I have not checked it out yet. I want this to be a truthful, real reaction to his video. And then I will also be doing a bar analysis of my submission to the contest. So I'll be going through my thoughts behind my writing, um, why I chose certain things, and yeah, hopefully some stuff that you may or may not, I guess, but you probably missed from my submission. So let's get right on into that. All right, so this is my submission to Simone Savage's Goodnight Remix Contest, and I'll be explaining some of my thoughts behind uh, my bars and my lyrics. So I purposefully included this little bit at the beginning about my surgery, whoops. Um, so yes, I had surgery literally the day before I made my version um i had some of the bars and by some i mean literally two lines done beforehand i did all of the rest of them on saturday after having surgery on friday so that felt really good and i included a bar about my surgery in my take so that's why i put this at the beginning was to give some context for that bar because that it, it, that way it makes more sense later also pity points i mean that's <laughs> Boxing like rich, but I ain't talking currency. Boxing like all y'all all heard of me. Okay, so I had thought of a similar line like this before. This boxing like rich, Roddy Rich, you know, like the box. It was a big song for a while. I mean, it still was fairly big, uh, but it's not as big now. That's okay. I enjoyed the song. And the reference to that was more like quarantine, like you're boxed in, like I'm in quarantine. Or I actually had to go into like a special quarantine just to make sure I didn't get COVID before the surgery. Because obviously going to the hospital, I really don't want COVID at the hospital. So um, yeah, I had to do a special quarantine that week. Really stunk for me. I had to actually cancel a bunch of stuff, which seems weird. That was the week I actually had a bunch of stuff and I had to cancel it. It was very disappointing. So I was like, boxing like rich, but I ain't talking currency. So rich, currency, and then boxing like Ollie. So boxing like Ollie till all y'all heard of me. So rhyme scheme right there. Ollie till all of y'all heard of me. All, all, y'all. And then Ollie, all y'all heard of me. Yeah, it was, pretty, it was pretty cool. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So that was the beginning. I did use that bit. Some odd at one point in his first video, part one, was like, I want to see how people will use this beat drop and like see creative ways they'll do it. So that's how I did it. I just had two lines to start with. Okay. Hit him with a hook and the punchline. One time enough to make him cry emergency. Too many in the lane came in real, but they're fake, like their names. All y'all say is perjury. Okay, so that first line was box like all until all y'all heard of me. Hit him with the hook and the punchline. So reference back to the line just before. Boxing like Ollie till all y'all heard of me. Hit him with the hook and the punchline. Hook is in like the chorus of a song. But hook is the term used more so for like rap or hip hop. I don't know why. I like they mean pretty much the same thing. Hook and chorus as far as I know. But a lot of rappers I listen to they call it a hook. And a lot of more like I guess like uh, other artists and other genres like pop and Christian and country, some that I listen to, they call it chorus. So I'm like, they're pretty much the same thing. But yeah, hook and then punchline, because I like a lot of puns and bars in my songs. So hit him with the hook and the punchline. One time enough to make him cry emergency. So like if you hit someone, my idea is it would be a hit hard enough that it would make them cry emergency. It's kind of fire, but pretty much I had some bars around with emergency. So I was like, let's figure out how to use emergency. And it worked really well there. So yeah. The part about perjury, so you're fake 
everyone in this land is fake, seemingly. Like, not everyone, but so many rappers just rap about, like, stuff that actually didn't happen to them, or it's just really lame, and they're just spitting stuff that doesn't make sense. So, what they're saying doesn't make sense, it's not true. All they say is perjury, so, like, falsehood in court. Okay, let's get back to it. Miniature, immature, rest assured, I'm a rock, y'all asleep, like we're in a nursery. I can do more than just murder beats, put the whack chalk by your murder scene, first degree. Okay, so I actually had a couple of ideas for that beginning sequence. So, miniature, immature, rest assured, I'm a rock, y'all asleep, like we're in a nursery. I also had the idea of saying amateur, and I literally wrote all three out, so amateur, miniature, immature. But I only had enough room for two, unless I cut out the rest assured part, but I like the rest assured, and I'll get to that later. And... As I'm saying, if you can't tell, I am reading a Word document on my screen. I have the Word document pulled up. My webcam is still recording me, though. So, you can kind of tell through the video. If you haven't already, I just ruined the magic for you. No. But, uh, I'm just reading my lyrics, and I see those three, and I just picked two. And I am picking miniature and immature, which I actually really like now looking back at it. Because I think it, like, both those things are, like qualities of a baby right a baby is small <laughs> of course and immature usually like youth is associated with immaturity and then i talk about rocking you're all to sleep like we're in a nursery which is where babies are it's like boom that actually worked out really well i mean amateur obviously i think still would have fit but not as well so that was pretty cool that that ended up happening i just picked two of the three as i was saying it in that take like i switched it differently in different takes and then we have rest assured but like rest assured so that's a bar because in nursery rest just saying i don't think anyone caught that i need to step up your game no it's okay and then i could do more than just murder beats so like do really well on a beat put the white chalk on your murder scene first degree so first degree murder implying i could murder other rappers obviously let's just clarify if any of you actually take that literally no i am not going to murder anyone lord willing i pray i never do that I would like to think I'm actually a fairly peaceful individual, but this just really fit with what I thought the theme of the song was. And I'll talk about my inspiration for it closer to the end, but I really thought this idea of, like, cutting out the fakes was a really good theme for this good night. Like, we're putting y'all to sleep. That's basically the thing. So if we're putting someone to sleep, it's another way to say, like, kill someone. So that's what that inspiration was for this part. Shocking like circuitry, due to a turn steal the show like Robin Hood, archery and burglary. I might have gone under, but I'm rising to the top, can't be stopped by surgery. Okay, that was the surgery bar. So, rising to the top, can't be stopped by surgery. But it was, might have gone under, rising to the top, can't be stopped by surgery. So you go, I went under for my surgery, as in like, they gave me anesthesia. But now I'm rising to the top, can't be stopped by surgery. Top, stopped, surgery, on, uh, it's rhyme schemes, bars. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for helping me with these lyrics. And then we have the uh, three, two, one ternary. So ternary just means like a group of three or something. Like literally, no joke. I was like, I think it'd be cool if I had two rhymes in this one line. And I literally looked up rhymes. Like I don't usually, do, I, I looked up rhyme and I was like, ternary, what's that word mean? I literally had to look it up, what ternary meant. And I was like, okay, I'll go three to one ternary. And it's also kind of a reference to like three, two, one knockout which I referenced earlier, all the boxing lines. So three, two, one, ternary. And then right before that, the shocking like circuitry. That one was, you might not have caught that because I was poor on pronouncing that. But yeah, shocking like circuitry. So I'm shocking like, you didn't expect this from me. I like to think I'm a peaceful guy. I don't think I've put out any sort of rap. Well, I put out Drapula with Joaquin before this, but I feel like this isn't really what most people think of me as. as I don't really, they don't think of me as like, someone that can rap or like a violent person. I'd, I'd like to think I'm not a violent person, but I can have some serious heat in my bars. I'm just saying. So yeah, shotgun like circuitry, the attorney, and then steal the show like Robin Hood, archery and burglary. So that's a reference to my last name is Archer. If you can't tell by my YouTube channel name. And then my, ideally my music artist name is going to be ardent archer. So ardent means like passionate archer, my last name, but Robin Hood archer. So archery but then i'm stealing the show so it's burglary and that's how it's robin hood because robin hood stole from the rich gave to the poor i'm like robin hood i'm an archer stealing the show so burglary 
All these specks of dust out of game, the clean sweep. Used to watch a reap, thing in the climb is too steep. Savage how he do him put a fake six feet deep. Fighting by the crypt, how he put these farts to sleep. Ah! Okay. So, the very first line, which all these specks of dust out here getting the clean sweep. So, that's actually a reference to one of Crip's most recent songs. In fact, I believe it's like his most recent single. And uh, I will play a clip of that right now. When they never met Crip, cause I would be friend them, but why do I expect nothing but respect from these specs of the rap game? they nothing but dust. So, I said, why do I expect nothing from respect from these specs of the rap game? They're nothing but dust. So, like, fakes, frauds, rappers that think they're better but really aren't. So that was a reference to that specks of dust. Out here getting the clean sweep. So dust, sweep, bars, bars, just just saying. And then you sow what you reap, thinking the climb is too steep. So this whole time I've been talking about frauds and fakes. So like you sow what you reap, so you get out what you put in. So all these people that are being really lazy about the content and music that they're creating, it's usually gonna come back and bite you. Unfortunately, that seems to not really be happening all the time. Like, people that make awful music still get, like, millions of streams and sold merchandise. And I'm like, what? What is happening? But you can see that often, you like, poor content. Audiences, listeners, they don't want that, <laughs> obviously. You want, you want something that you like hearing. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear what they have to put out because you know that they don't really put that much effort into it. I don't want to be like that. I want to put work into what I'm doing. Thinking that climbing is too steep. So if you put less work in because you think it's too hard, that's going to reflect in your audience and how many people listen to you and how many people like your stuff, your content, your music. Uh, the work you put in, is it's going to show. And then for these last two lines, I made them in reference to the two artists. So... This whole contest is Simon Savage offering the contest, but it's also a song with Crips, the rapper. And um, I really like both of them as artists. So I used lines with their names in the song to use as bars, but also to sort of show my respect and appreciation for them. I know Simon Savage has done this. He did this in the Poppin' Cypher. He referenced all the people in the Cypher. Um, so I thought it'd be a cool idea to do this. So I said, Savage, how we do it. Simon Savage. Putting fakes six feet deep. So again, reference to the murder. Again, not actually going to murder anyone. Please do not think that. <laughs> Please, no. Just no. And then bodied by the crypt. How we put these frauds to sleep. So I purposely put frauds the second time because bodied by the crypt putting frauds to sleep. I really care about this rhyme scheme stuff. Like I... I care about the lyrics and how they sound. I really put work into this, even if it's just a 48 second clip and not even all that's the song. But yeah, I really put effort and thought and intention into what I wrote. And then of course, Body by the Crip, how he put these frauds to sleep because it's called Good Night. That was later my inspiration. I did those last two lines first about Savage and Crypt putting frauds to sleep. And that was the inspiration for the beginning of the song was fakes and frauds like running the game seemingly too much like they shouldn't have all this attention or popularity because really what they're putting out isn't that good it's not real and so just trying to point that out but also lord willing point you to real artists that actually talk about things that have happened to them are really good at what they do and make really good music and content and of course thank you samad for just having this contest, I still haven't actually seen, but when I'm recording this, if you put me in your video, but even if you didn't, really appreciate all that you've done for the music community, and just want to say thanks. I think that was it for this video. Oh, and if you uh, want to check out my Insta, my music Insta, it is Ardent Archer Music. So check me out, follow me. Uh, yeah, I've actually put a version of this, but a different video on my Instagram, so you can check that out. That was actually a really cool app that I used to edit that video. Pretty sick. I really enjoyed it. I think it looks cool. So if you want to check that out, go to my Insta, follow me, and uh, see what I'm putting out. Also, I put out a little teaser for a music project that, Lord willing, I'll be releasing this year. Uh, already in the works. I could put a little teaser on my Instagram, so go there, see what it is, see if you can figure out what I am doing. <laughs>
Maybe I don't even know. No, I know. Uh, and Lords will be done with this whole music business that I'm trying to get into. So we are at Samad Savage's video. You see, he released this about 14 hours ago. So I'm pretty early on this. Not super early, but it's not been a while. So this is this happened today, Friday. I'm reviewing it first time live. I will probably skip to my part. I might do another bit of my reactions to other people's submissions. I thought a lot of people did really well from watching part one. Uh, I think there's at least one person that got in his top five that I was like, eh. but I know at least three of them. I was like, that was really good. In fact, one of them I had seen before his video, just looking at other people's that they had put out. I was like, that that's good. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people killed it. Uh, I will say there weren't as many producers that did stuff. So if you were a producer and, uh, or if you are a producer, and you didn't do something for this, you missed out. You missed out. So yeah, that, that's all I have to say. Let's get right into it, and I'll probably skip to my part just to hear any feedback. I don't even know if I'm in it. There might not be on my part. But if there is, we will go to it, and I'll see y'all then. Okay, I'm just gonna say this real quick. The fact that it's been seven minutes and there's already two is already disappointing. And this happened in the last video. Like, the first two, he was like, yeah, this is top five. In my mind, maybe that's true, but I feel like you shouldn't put people in so early like i don't like this approach to it you know but eh, it's all it's fine let's get back to the video let me just say this the fact that there's already 10 rap winners filled if he keeps it at 10 i haven't watched all the video will be very disappointing for me that there's like 15 minutes left and he's already put locked out the rest of the rappers and you just broke the damn threshold. I told myself I wouldn't do this. But now there is a top 11. Congratulations, yes, let's go, Chemistry. Let's go, let's go. Not only did you get into the top 10, but you surpassed and broke the threshold. Let's keep going to see if anybody else continues to break this damn threshold. And I'll be in vain. I will never have shame for the pain in my face. I might get up and stay up till food on my plate because my tummy hungry. I do almost anything for Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just skipping around. But I will say, there are not many female rappers in the game. And this will be very controversial. I think sometimes, just for diversity's sake, rappers will put female artists in these lists. Not, But obviously, I really... What I mean by that is female artists obviously can write just as good as male artists. I think sometimes they're like, oh, she's a woman, so I have to put her in, otherwise I'll be seen as sexist. And so female artists are more likely to get in just because there's less of them. So I think there's two issues with that, obviously. The standard that these guys sometimes feel like, I have to put her in just because she's female. And then also this idea that because she's female, she should get in. Maybe that's the same thing. Maybe that's really just one issue. But it, it's... It stinks, I think, that that is an issue. Obviously, there are less female rappers, but they're just as good. So we should, and Lord willing, this is happening. And, but I know at least in another contest that I've seen, I don't think it did, where we should be judging the quality of the content, not, like, the person in this case, because it is a contest where we are judging, or I guess in this case, Samad is judging the rapping skills and the song of these artists. I just like to put that out there. It might be kind of controversial, but I don't think it really should be. So yeah, I all respect to females, obviously, and female artists. I just think that sometimes people treat them differently just because they're female. Whereas if we're really judging the rapping and the song, that shouldn't be the case. Okay, I'm just doing this. Uh, I haven't seen me yet, which is really disappointing. To be quite honest. Okay, I'm not glad guys I didn't see me. Yet. Oh. Uh -huh. Guys, guys, I didn't I didn't make the video. I made this honorable mentions list. You can Ardent Archer. Ardent Archer. I'm right there. I'm right there. But uh, I did not I did not make it anywhere in this video. Very sad. No, it's all good. But yeah, I mean, technically I could say I was in the video because it says Arden Archer, but uh, 
<laughs> I mean, theoretically, that means he at least saw it. So I'm just, I'm appreciative that he saw it. Hopefully he liked it. Um, but yeah, words will be done. That kind of stinks, though, because I was hoping to, like, get some feedback from him. Not even if he hated it. Like, just some constructive criticism that could help me grow. Which I think everyone wants, right? We all want to grow, Lord willing. Um, uh, but obviously, he can't get to all of us. That's a ton of names that he didn't even put in this video. And there's so many that he did. And uh, But yeah, thank you so much, Samad, for this contest. Really appreciate it. Uh, helping the music community out. Uh, helping me out. It was really fun to do. I really enjoyed it, honestly. Uh, grinded it out most of it in one day and uh, put out something that I really enjoyed and hopefully my viewers enjoyed too. Archer, Archer, woo! Go check out some of these guys. Like, I, I checked out everyone that was in the video, but like, and theoretically these people might not be as good <laughs> if, if they are not in the video, but my thing is these people missed out in being in the video, so go check these people out. I might look at a few of them and if I really like them, then I'll put them in the video. But yeah. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. That's my reaction to Simon Savage's video, even though I <laughs> wasn't in it. It's okay, it's okay. As well as my analysis of the submission that I gave. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Maybe there's some things that you missed that I clarified for you. Or yeah, just some confusing things that were made clear as mud by that. <laughs> no, hopefully I was a little, little better than that. That's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you want to see more music on this channel, let me know. Leave likes, comments, let me know. I have some ideas and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.